Hey guys, what's going on? Jake here again. Welcome back to another gaming setup and room tour! Finally! Finally, it's July! Fireworks! Yes! Anyway, uh, I'm gonna start off with this view for now. Just for the hell of it, I have a new light, so it's a little better. Kind of look like Anakin right now. Oh well, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the back wall behind me. Uh, let me flip the camera over real quick and I'll get started. So of course, starting on the back wall, we have the two shelves with all of the computer parts. Um, I have two processor boxes up there now, the i5-3570K and the i7-3770K. A data SSD, the RAM boxes, everything else. Um, moving on, of course, we have the Walking Dead, the Space Chimp, and the Keep Calm and Bamf on. And I'm actually going to go to this to this wall real quick first. My futon is here, and you guys are going to see why in a few minutes. Now, keep in mind that my gaming setups usually go for 15, 20, maybe even 25 minutes, so bear with me. We're going to get to the good part, okay? Uh, right underneath the Keep Calm and Bam Fawn, I actually do not have my mini fridge or my nightstand anymore, as you can see the outline in the carpet. Uh, I actually have a fan tower, which is been doing me really well. I had it in the, in uh, another spot. I got a new fan grate because it turns out the other one was actually completely restricting like any airflow. So I have the AC in my house on right now um, and it's flowing and it's getting picked up by the fan and it's going across my room um, and it's really keeping everything really nice and cool and I love it. Right near that is an iron gym. I use it to put above my door frame and do pull-ups, push-ups, uh, you can basically do anything with it. So you can also do sit-ups where you can put your feet underneath those two uh, foam pads. And so it's not uncomfortable for you. You can weigh it down with whatever you want. Uh, I still have my coat rack here. I have a blue hat now because I'm cool still. I don't know. I still have one leg. See? Told you. And I don't have anything above that wall yet or on that wall. So I'm going to hopefully get something pretty here pretty soon on back of my door I have a 2014 calendar still of course we are on July 1st now I don't actually have to ask for time off um, I'll let you guys know I was gonna be going out to California um, for my cousin's wedding uh, and hell I'll promote him really quick my cousin is actually the lead singer in a country band called Suicide Cowboy. I shit you not, that's 100% fact. I was gonna go and his wedding is like the 19th or something, um, but we are trying to save money so we can go to my grandpa's 90th birthday two days after mine in September. Of course, I'm not turning 90, that's crazy. Above the door, we have, um, we have a very nice drawing. It's, I did that four years ago in February. It wasn't that great, but I decided I wanted to do it. And over here we have the Minecraft poster, still in its usual corner. Uh, nothing else is going there yet. I think I'm going to get another light. It's probably going to be like a poster corner or something like that. On the top shelf, I just dusted this. We do have the lightsabers. And now I've actually been getting a few questions about these uh, in private messages. Asking if I can make you guys lightsabers. Now, I haven't made one in a few months. That back one back there was the last one I got. Uh, the last one I made because I got the Covertech official belt clip back there. Um, and they also asked if I could possibly give one away or just, or yeah, just give it away in a giveaway or just give it away. So I do not know yet. I'm going to have to think about that quite a bit. Uh, but maybe the time will come where I'll give away one of these. Um, probably this one or that one. And in that case, I might even make more if I decide to. If it's by popular demand, which we'll see. Going lower, we have three trophies. All that good stuff over here still. Just all dusted. Nothing has changed over here. Books, bullet shells, SR-71, P-38. My uh, car jumper, which I have yet to put in my car. Some other books underneath. I have some guide. I have a guide to software book um, that's massive. It's old. It's like Windows CE, Windows 95, but it's got some really, really nice stuff in it. Spanish dictionaries, socialization books, 
and a government book. Not that exciting. Socialization is actually really fun. Uh, at least my teacher was fun. So moving on, I have a little tiny book bag there for uh, when I practice piano. I have my uh, piano music in there. Meat High, I have my little thing here. I got it. I can't remember what the name is. I just can't. What the thing that goes around your shoulder during graduation. Maybe I'll think of it. I don't know. I probably won't. Moving on, I still have the magnetic dartboard. I'm thinking of re replacing this with probably an airsoft target or something. Uh, above that I have Mickey Mouse and below that I have the fedora that I'm going to be using to pick out your names uh, for giveaways from now on. That's going to be pretty, pretty sweet. Moving down we have two 25 pound weights. My closet, of course, well, with the sign and it's kind of a mess right now. It's all Nerf guns, it's all junk, I'm yet to clean it out. Swiffer, pads, um, some of my games, some of my older soundtracks. Uh, Vulcan, which I actually sharpied on certain select parts. That's nothing you guys want to see. Uh, moving into this corner, I actually do have this LED light now uh, that shines down pretty much on just my desk. Uh, so that's really nice. I really like that. Um, it's LED. It's got a switch right under here. But I keep it on so it provides a little bit more light. I have the Minion, I have the Banana, I have the Radius Shock Mount box, the Logitech Z506 box, on top of the two LG monitors, that's, since I fumble over it so much, that's the model, 24EN43V-B, oh god, that was good. Um, right above that I have my um, mortar board, or graduation cap, as Americans say, mortar board is um, for, you know, wherever else. And I decided to put this on top of here because a lot of, I saw a lot of comments swooning about this. Dun 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 dun! This is a Transformers ring on eBay for like 17 bucks, guys. I'm sure they're still there. Um, very, very nice ring. I'm yet to wear it. Um, I was going to wear it to the Transformers 4 showing that I went to but I totally gapped it. So, whatever, that movie was great, etc. You know the drill. Um, up here I have some other speakers. I have a tape measure, I have a duster, I have some thumbtacks and some little mounting uh, things for the wall that were for the light, but I didn't bother to use them. I have a painting back up on this wall as usual. Um, this was painted by my brother's fiance's mother. She's amazing. Um, she comes from a Puerto Rican family and she just loves painting. It's so awesome. Uh, moving over, we have the Game of Thrones poster. Moving over again, we have the other painting back there of the mountains that are pretty near, uh, pretty close to us. Uh, if you look out from my back porch, you can see these mountains pretty clearly on a, on a sunny day. Um, it's not exactly that picture that you'll see, but you will see mountains that do have those Twin Peaks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and go back over here. We're going to go and jump right into the rest of the setup. On top of my little food drawer thing over here, well, I have my food drawer, so that's one thing. Um, I have some bagels in there, some airsoft stuff. This, this is kind of, this is kind of a mess. I really need to reorganize this. Um, but my mini fridge, I have both EVGA stickers on here now. I have some some locks or some salmon for my bagels. I got <laughs> I literally cream cheese, cream cheese, hummus. Hummus is delicious, by the way. Sweet tea, Arizona uh, Arizona Arnold Palmer, and another Arizona that one of my friends brought over here and has not drunk it yet. Moving over, or on top of that, we have three knives. One I actually got from my boss. Um, she was just she's like, hey, do you want to, you know, do you want a pocket knife so you can cut down boxes and stuff, you know, a little bit easier? I was like, sure, what the hell, why not? And I forgot where my other one went. I think I probably misplaced it. There's my IHOP tag. This is the rear left speaker for the system, which I'll go into in a few minutes. I have my Kindle Fire up here as well as my Samsung Galaxy Tab. 3 Lite, which is amazing. It's such a great tablet. So great. Just amazing, amazing, amazing. Battery life is fantastic. Screen looks really good. 
Not as fast as iOS. I will give it that and give, you know, I'll kind of put a little bit more leverage towards my iPhone, but still a great, great device for, um, for the retail price currently. Moving on, we have the Canon Disc Burner, which I use for most of my videos. And there's a giant fly in my room! Get out of here, I'll kill you! And there are discs back there, there are driver discs, there are blank DVDs, um, some other stuff. I have some, I just have, well, I just got a new phone case, so they sent, they gave me um, some, well, a cleaner, a wiper, and some free screen protectors as well. Fly, get out of my room, I'm going to kill you! Ah! There's a Bluetooth speaker, there's my CD coaster there. I'll go ahead and move my chair real quick and we'll go ahead and go under. Uh, these two boxes right here are actually so snug that these are for uh, disposing of cans. And then there's another box of Arnold Palmer that's a full one right underneath there. So as soon as these are empty, I'll take it out, take it out to the trash and the recycle, and put this forward, and then I can just throw cans in there. Uh, here I have a bunch of stuff, Sharpies, you know, this is still kind of disorganized. A uh, wipe rag for, um, for glass, e-cig, some... Uh, glass cleaner that's really for glasses and some electronic devices like screens. I got my wallet. I got a little that little ceramic thing with my uh, flash drives in it. That's always nice. And I have a lockbox back there, which basically keeps um, all my quote unquote valuables. I don't have any valuables around here, obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up on the desk. And this is the PC. This thing is fantastic. I made a few changes as of the last gaming setup video. Um, the two, well the three technically, are one, I have an i7-3770K in there now. I have two, I have a 128 gig SSD by A Data. You guys can see an unboxing of that on my channel. And you guys can also see a boot up of that on my channel, which is amazing. And the third change, very minor, I did yesterday, is I changed the rear fan to an exhaust because I wanted the white ring to kind of blend with the rest. The rest of the gigs, the specs, the rest of the specs, it's got a Gigabyte GA Z77D3H motherboard with a Z77 uh, chipset, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR3, and it has two GTX 760s in SLI, which I will show you right now. Here are the two hard drives. It's got a 500 gig and a terabyte, and there's that SSD right down there. The fans are great. Everything stays really cool, and it's also being cooled by an H100i liquid cooler. So that's that's really, really handy to have, um, especially when you want to do rendering and, and stuff like that, like I do. So I'm going to go ahead and move the side panel off to the side. Maybe you guys can still have a little view in there. There you go. And I have my sweet uh, fan coaster. My dad, my dad came in here yesterday, and I think I had a drink on it. And he looks at it. He's like, "What the hell is the point of that fan?" I'm like, it's a coaster. Darren, I already showed you this. It's a coaster. I'm not gonna have a fan for my computer just sitting there. Whatever. It's boring. So we'll go ahead and move on. I have the um, mount right here for the Blue Yeti with the Blue Yeti Radius shock mount. It's great. Um, the, of course, it's the Blue Yeti is like a four pound mic. So it does kind of, eh, it's not really doing it at the moment because I tightened it earlier, but it does kind of fail a little bit. It will kind of lop just a tad. And that's because of the weight and it's, it's a generic thing. It's a generic um, boom. So I might upgrade to a Rode PSA-1 eventually, even if it's $100, it seems a little overkill, but I'm definitely considering it if I want to keep doing, um, you know, a lot of commentaries and stuff like that. So we'll see. Um, right past that, we have the left front Logitech speaker of the set. And I'm going to actually point out something real quick that I missed. I completely skipped in the beginning of this video. This LED... Um, strip that you guys see going around my desk. This you can find on Amazon for 25 to 30 bucks and it comes in multiple different kits. It's by a brand called Super Knight and make sure you get the kit. If you decide to get these it comes with a remote, 
It comes with the power adapter and it comes with the IR infrared sensor. If you don't get everything, then you won't be able to control it. Um, so you need the power adapter, you know, etc. That will all come in one package if you locate the right one. So when you go to Amazon, find it and then make sure that you're looking in the product description and says um, all of those are included or else you're gonna end, uh, end up empty handed with one or two of those things. So I have the Kingston SD card reader right back there. It's USB 3.0, it's great. Um, I used that to store some music onto my, um, onto my SD card while I was actually reinstalling Windows. So that was really, really nice to have. It probably put all of my music on there, or at least in my, in my user slash Jake folder on there in probably about 10 seconds, maybe. And I think it was a few gigs. Um, and we'll go ahead and go right into the setup. So I have two um, Logitech. Wow, does that does that mean Logitech? Wow, I didn't know that was Logitech. I have one Logitech C310 webcam right on top of there. Um, that's going to be for some of my other videos and some of skyping somewhat. You know, I have two LG 24-inch monitors. They are full 1080p. I do not know what the response time with them is. I think it's three milliseconds, maybe. Uh, it's a, they're amazing monitors. I could really not ask for anything more than this. I don't need 27 inch. I don't necessarily need three monitors because I've been gaming on one monitor for God knows how long and it works just fine. It really does. I'll go ahead and show you how slim these, slim these guys are. I picked them up at Office Depot. They were about 150 to 170 bucks each. Great monitors, absolutely great. Energy Star, everything. I'll go ahead and wake up my uh, the screens. Of course, I have this Titanfall thing. It looks great. It looks awesome. It looks so freaking sexy. And I have that middle speaker right there. So we'll go ahead and go lower. I have been getting so many questions and comments about this keyboard, guys. This is the Corsair K70 Mechanical Gaming Keyboard with Cherry MX Blue Switches. You cannot find this anymore, guys. It makes me sad because it's such an amazing, amazing keyboard and people take it People take Corsair, the entire brand, for granted if they get one of these keyboards and, and an LED dies. It's not that big of a deal. They do have a warranty on most of their products, and you can always RMA it if you don't like it. You really can. Just do it if you want to. I have not. I got this from NCIX.com in January, and it has not failed me. It has not failed me. It's got a USB pass-through on the back. Of course, I got a mess of wires back there. And I'm actually using that for the M65 mouse, which I'll go into in a second. This is an amazing keyboard. You guys can't find this anymore, it sucks. But, there's a but. If you like mechanical keyboards, you are in luck. Because Corsair has released this keyboard, the K70, in RGB LEDs. I've already told you guys this in the last video, but in case you are only catching up now, you can get them in RGB LEDs. You can set any key, all of these keys, even these three up here, to any color you want. These, like one through zero, or, or W, A, S, and D, your cluster could be all green, or and the rest could be another color. You can do whatever you want with that. Right now, that keyboard's available in Cherry MX Red switches, which is a little bit quieter than than the loud tactile feedback of the MX Blues. You can always get rubber O-rings that actually go underneath to dampen the sound a little bit. And apparently, since they have a little bit of a uh, faster response, they are quote unquote the best for gaming. So that's all up to you. They're available in M MX Red right now, and they're going to be available in MX Blues and Browns in August, so a month. And I believe the retail price is going to be like $139 or $149.99. It seems a little ridiculous for a keyboard, but since it's mechanical and since they use gold contacts on the switches, it's 100% worth it. Uh, moving on, I'll go ahead and show you the Corsair M65. 
This mouse is great. I really don't have a problem with it. They're also releasing an RGB version of this so you can change these. I believe it's got one more light. Oh, this, the Corsair logo actually lights up. That's an RGB. And they've moved the sniper precision button back half an inch because if you put your hand on it, it's actually a little little hard to read. You kind of have to hit it with the base with the like front of your thumb and it's really uncomfortable instead of just clicking it right here. So they've made that modification. Uh, that's going to be available pretty soon as well. Right corner we have the far right speaker, the main speaker with the volume and the power control. On top of that we have um, the Hunger Games uh, Phoenix, Phoenix O'Dare's bracelet that he got from Oh, God, what's his name? It starts with an H. Oh, God, what's his name? I, I give up. Whatever his name is. And <laughs> it's Hamich. There it is, Hamich. I knew it was on the tip of my tongue. Uh, it's amazing. I got it from a website that ships from Singapore. It's played in 18 karat gold. It's really just for display. Uh, moving on to the right, I have a Cosmos headset stand. Now, you can't... I don't know why, but every single time after I buy a product and I show it to you guys, you guys want to find out where it is. So I try and look for a link for you and it just it disappeared. It just fucked off the face of the earth. So I don't know what that's about. But this is a Cosmos headset stand. It works for anything. It's completely universal. You can't find this particular model anymore, but you can find some other ones that have a solid flat base, kind of have a curve up and then another curve. They almost look like Astro kind of ripoffs. Uh, if you've ever seen an Astro headset stand, you know what I'm talking about. And that's sporting the Corsair Vengeance 1500 uh, USB gaming headset. It's amazing. It has really great sound. I haven't been using it that much. Um, but I'm probably going to switch back to Skype with that and commentaries with the Blue Yeti instead. Because um, on Skype, the Blue Yeti picks up everything. The Blue Yeti can pick up me you know, have it eating munchies and typing on the keyboard. And that does pick up me typing and eating, but not as loud and not as finely detailed. So on my light, of course, I have just my light. That's, that's it. And the Hobbit poster. This light is just to bring, you know, a little bit more glow to the rest of the room. I'm still trying to get lights because it's really, really dark in here most of the time. I have the magnetic darts right here. Yeah, depth perception. Ugh. And uh, those I can always use to throw at that uh, baby right over there. I have my keys hanging on there. And, oh, before I skip it, I skipped it last time. This is the Archon um, tablet mount. You can use this on glass. You can use it on the dashboard in your car. You can use it on the windshield in your car. And it is meant to hold tablets. Now, I use it for my phone because you can see it clearly works. I can still still have it plugged in. I can remove it pretty easily. Ta-da! And I can always take my tab right over there, turn it uh, horizontally and pull it, just put it right there. Now the only downside to this thing is that when you want to turn it, you have to lift up the suction, lift up the tab, and then rotate the entire thing. You can't just rotate the the black on the rubber because it's connected together for the suction purpose so that's kind of a downer but you're not going to be able to do much i mean it, it makes a lot of sense uh when you think about it so that's always nice um you can always use it to fall asleep with um and just plug in headphones at the top uh, of course we have the remote for the rgb strip i'll go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a demonstration just for the hell of it let's go Woo! Now, this is, eh, this is all right. This is fun. This is just fun. Um, I've tried to make it go to the beat of songs before. I'm still working on that. Um, I think there's a mod that I can actually get to cook them up with a little tiny microphone that will pulse the lights at the pulse of the music. So that would be really, really sick if I get to figure that out. Uh, I just go back to white because the white looks really good with the rest of the room. I'm not racist, guys. Don't worry about it. I like white. I like blue. Everything really matches very well. That's pretty much it besides my trash can, my chair, which is the uh, Office Max Fausto 2. F-A-U-S-T-O. Number two. That's great. It's leather chair. 
so comfortable. It's got everything is pretty much adjustable besides the uh, the backrest, which is fine with me. I'm not going to use it as a lounge chair. It's very easy to fall asleep in though. I will warn you now. And underneath the K70, we do have that Logitech MK320, which is that combo. Good God, I've had this for so long. I just found the video on my channel about it the other day, and it's crazy, 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 crazy how long ago I got this. Like, I was using this thing to play Crisis 2 on my shitty laptop. That's how, that's how old this was. It was like December of 2012, I think it was. Um, I have the subwoofer for the speaker system down there, the Skullcandy Hesh 2s for uh, the Blue Yeti right up there, and the Targus TGT58TR, that tripod was right down there as well. But for the most part, I think that's pretty much it, besides my tech drawer, which is just full of tech stuff. I, ha I was able to remove a power strip because I didn't need to have it over there near my bed anymore. Um, and this is a mess, so this is gonna get, that's gonna get reorganized eventually. Um, I really don't think there's anything else to cover. I think I've pretty much covered everything in my room. Um, if you guys have any questions, like any model number of anything in here, uh, feel free to ask. By all means, seriously, ask me and I'll go ahead and pull it up for you. I'll even give you a link on the back wall as well. Um, I do have the old Razer Nostromo, a Corsair, uh, SP120 fan that sucks and an NZXT performance fan that I had in my system for God knows how long as well as a uh, Intel Pentium dual core um, Which isn't that great anymore, but I overclocked it for a while and it stayed Really top-notch for quite a while as well. So it definitely definitely made it worth it to have it while I did and for the most part, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. We're already at 26 or almost 27 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment. What the hell just happened to my color? Hey, camera. Camera. Camera, damn you. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wow, it really glows blue over there. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already it always helps out the channel definitely shows my uh, your support towards my channel uh, and I'm definitely definitely looking forward to expanding in the future right now we have 1790 something subscribers so we have 200 and whatever more to go until the 2000 subscriber giveaway and I'm honestly thinking I'm probably gonna give away like a tablet or something like a tablet or a monitor or something. I'm not 100% sure yet. Hell, maybe I'll even give away a freaking Transformers ring because you guys swooned over that one. Thank you guys for watching again. I will see you guys next time, whenever that is. I don't know, maybe I'll do a 4th of July fireworks video just for the hell of it. Have a great 4th of July, guys, if I don't see you until then. And America. And other countries. I know Canada turns like whatever today. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.